So when you go to a pharmacy, you'd go to the pharmacist and ask him for a Panadol and he'd ask you, which one do you want? And then he'd open like a drawer that has all the colors and kinds of Panadol that are available in the market. And you'll start thinking, which one should I choose? Today I'm going to talk about the differences between all the Panadol kinds that are available in the market and which one should you choose for your symptoms. The first one would be the blue normal Panadol that we see in all pharmacies, which is paracetamol 500 milligrams. Panadol or paracetamol or Adol, whatever you want to call it, is a drug that's used to temporarily rarely relief mild to moderate pain and fever. People usually would take it for headaches, normal fever, sometimes if you have joint pain or anything like that, lower back pain, whatever kind of mild pain, you would take paracetamol for that or Panadol 500 milligrams. The second one would be the red Panadol, which is Panadol Extra. It has 500 milligrams of paracetamol and 65 milligrams of caffeine. Panadol as a company called the Optisorb formulation. I don't care about their marketing strategy or marketing names. What I care about is the effect of caffeine caffeine on paracetamol. Caffeine increases the effectiveness of paracetamol. That's why this combination will give you much more efficient effect of paracetamol. You can use it in the exact same ways that you use the normal one, but you would expect a much stronger effect from the exact same dose. The recommended dose for both red and blue Panadol are two tablets every six hours, which will give you up to four grams a day. The recommended dose of four grams a day of paracetamol, whatever kind you're taking, acetamol, Adol, paracetamol, Panadol, whatever it is, do not exceed four grams or 4,000 milligrams a day. The third one would be Panadol Joint. It's also blue. They have like multiple blue products. So let's not get confused with the colors. Panadol Joint has 665 milligrams of paracetamol, which is a higher dose, but you can take only two pills every eight hours. It's a sustained release formula. It starts after 15 minutes and goes up to eight hours of effectiveness. So every eight hours you take two pills of 665 milligrams. It is marketed towards joint pain or osteoarthritis, but I believe that you can use it towards fever. If you have COVID, let's say, if you want to take it for any kind of mild to moderate or even above moderate pain, you want a sustained release pill, you can take Panadol joint. Some people would like to take it for lower back pain, neck pain, whatever kind of joint pain or muscle pain that they have and they want to sleep well, they can take Panadol joint. On a side note, there are many, many products that have the same effect and the same formula as Panadol joint that can be much cheaper or that can be more expensive. So you can try and ask the pharmacist if they have any alternative with the exact same dosage and the exact same form, the exact same sustained release and you can take it for cheaper. Of course, that's depending on the market that you're searching in. The third one would be Panadol Act Fast. Panadol Act Fast has paracetamol 500 milligrams and sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate usually works as an ingredient to increase the speed of absorption of paracetamol. You'll get a much faster effect with the exact same dose of paracetamol 500 milligrams. If you have any kind of pain that you need like fast relief from, you can take Panadol act fast. What they do in these products is that they add an ingredient and remove an ingredient or whatever it is, they add something to the tablet itself to increase the speed or slow the speed and give you a sustained release. That way they can make five, six, seven, eight products from the exact same drug. Panadol act fast would be your choice. If you have like mild pain, I will always recommend paracetamol for mild pain. If you have severe pain, you would take something stronger and that would be prescribed by your doctor. But for any kind of general pain, I would recommend taking paracetamol as it's one of the safest drugs in the market right now. The next one would be Panadol Advance. Panadol Advance is also a blue one. It's paracetamol 500 milligrams. It is marketed as a twice as faster formulation of Panadol. It's the same Optisorb formulation, but I don't know why they are making them at this point. Like you have the extra, you have the Actifast, you have the joint, which is the sustained release that starts after 15 minutes minutes. What drug do you want that's faster than 15 minutes? I don't know, but that's what they are marketing right now. So it is available and it doesn't have any other ingredients that are mentioned on the website or on the box itself that says why it is faster. It's the formulation. Okay, so let's go to a different kind of Panadol, which is Panadol cold and flu. Panadol cold and flu is one of the major sellers in the market right now. It is trusted because of the Panadol label, but it's also trusted because it is effective. So we have two types, the yellow one, which is day, and the green one, which is night. These are the main two Panadol cold and flus. We also have two or three more that I'll be mentioning after that, but these are the main two products of the cold and flu line. At this point, we know all Panadol products have paracetamol 500 milligrams, but this one, which is the cold and flu day, has 25 milligrams of caffeine and five milligrams of phenylephrine. 
Phenylephrin is a product, stuffy nose, sinus, and ear symptoms. These are usually caused by cold, flu, or allergies. Now the cold and flu night has a different formula. It has 500 paracetamol, 2 mg of chlorpheniramine, and 30 mg of pseudoephedrine. Now chlorpheniramine is an antihistamine that's been used to help you fall asleep faster. It causes drowsiness, so it's not recommended to take it on daytime, especially if you're going out of your place, driving, or even going to a place far from your home. Please don't take it. They take the day one. The other one, which is pseudoephedrine, which is one of my favorite products for cold and flu, because it's like magic. Like, you take three pills of that, and you're done. You don't need anything else. I use it personally. Pseudoephedrine has the same effect as phenylephrine. It helps with stuffy nose, sinus, and ear symptoms caused by allergies, flu, and cold. Now, there are some warnings for each of these products, but they are usually mentioned inside of the box. There's like a description paper that you can find, and please read that before taking any medicine or tell the pharmacist that you're taking from that you have any kind of condition that requires you to not take this medicine. Let's say if you're using beta blockers, if you're using any kind of other medicine, do not take this one. Tell the pharmacist and he'll tell you if you should take it or not. Now, speaking about this formula, there's another product which is called Panadol Sinus, which is, has paracetamol 500 milligrams and 30 milligrams of pseudoephedrine, and that's it. You don't have any caffeine, you don't have any chlorpheniramine, so it doesn't have any other effect other than relieving the sinus and ear symptoms or the stuffy nose or the runny nose that you're having because of the cold. I recommend this if you have cold and flu. It's very good, and I usually, I personally take it. I don't take Panadol as a brand, I take another brand. But, but I recommend this formula. Now the last one of all of these cold and flus is cold and flu all in one. It has 250 milligrams of paracetamol, 100 milligrams of guaifenesin, and 5 milligrams of phenylephrine hydrochloride. We spoke about phenylephrine, we spoke about paracetamol, now guaifenesin. Guaifenesin is used to clear phlegm and mucus from your chest caused by cold and flu. It doesn't cause any drowsiness, so you can take it safely in daytime. Now up to the last three products, Panadol Woman. Yes, Woman now has Panadol. Panadol Woman is marketed towards period pain. They literally say tough period pain. I don't know when period pain is not tough. Now, Paracetamol Woman has 500 milligrams of paracetamol and 10 milligrams of hyoscine butyl bromide. Now, hyoscine butyl bromide is used for any GI spasms that can also be used for period spasms too. So, if you have any period pain, you can use Panadol Woman. Does that mean you can't use the other Panadols? Of course not. You can use any kind of Panadol if you want, but this one is marketed towards woman towards period pain. Now this formula can be used for abdominal cramps or abdominal contractions. It's marketed towards women, but men, you can use the pink Panadol. It's okay. Now some people can feel restless or ha they have any kind of mild pain at night and they want to sleep faster. In this case, they can use Panadol Night. Now Panadol Night has 500 milligrams of paracetamol and 25 milligrams of diphenylhydramine hydrochloride. I'm sorry that saying that in English is hard for me. I studied that in Arabic. It's diphenylhydramine hydrochloride. So it's kind of scary. You can take two caplets. Caplets are capsule-like tablets. So they're basically tablets, but they look like a capsule. So you can take two caplets 20 minutes before going to bed. Of course, you can't drive after taking this because you might fall asleep on the steering wheel and God forbid has, have an accident or something like that. Please don't take it in daytime. Take it right before going to bed. Now the last one, and I was shocked to know that this thing is available in the market, which is Panadol Migraine. Panadol Migraine has a unique formula. 250 milligrams of paracetamol, which is one of the few ones that has this dose of paracetamol with 250 milligrams of acetyl salicylic acid and 65 milligrams of caffeine. This is marketed heavily towards migraine. Now acetyl salicylic acid, it is an NSAID. So it's like ibuprofen, naproxen, and these drugs are used for pain, inflammation, and fever. This is exactly like taking aspirin or ibuprofen or naproxen with Panadol, a lower dose of Panadol. The dose is two caplets every six hours. Dash, ask the doctor. I don't know. They why they mentioned that, but don't take more than eight tablets in every in 24 hours. So eight tablets, which means two tablets every six hours. Don't take more than that. I don't think that you should take more than that. These are the Panadol products. Which one should you use? Of course, depending on the case that you're using it for, you can choose the right one. If you don't know or you're not sure, 
please ask the pharmacist. Otherwise, use the one that has the name, the flashy name. So if you have joint pain, you take Panadol joint. If you have, or if you want something fast, you take Panadol act fast. Or if you want something fast, but doesn't have any other ingredients, you can take Panadol advanced. Why would you take the normal blue Panadol? I don't think that it is available in all markets, but it's available in some, we should mention it, but it's an honorable mention. But Panadol advanced is the normal blue one that's available right now. Now the main question, do we need all of these Panadols? Yes and no. Some people would not like to take multiple pills. Now if you want to give them like a two, three drugs without giving them two, three pills, this is a good way. But do we need all of these products? Of course not. You can take them separately, it's okay. But I don't think that we need all of these Panadols. They are available, so if you want, you can just go and buy them. I hope this video helped you to understand all the colors and names of Panadol, and there are a lot of companies that make paracetamol other than Panadol. This is one of the most reputable companies because it's made by JSK, but I think you can buy any other product if it's cheaper for you. Let's say Paracystane in the UAE is cheaper than Panadol Joint. It has the exact same paracetamol 665 milligrams sustained release, starts after 15 minutes and continue up to eight hours. You can take two pills, every eight hours and it is available and it is way cheaper. You pay like $1 more and you take double the amount of pills, which is very good. Instead of paying $8, you pay nine and you take double the amount of tablets. That's very good. Is there any main or major difference? No, just the brand. You're buying the brand. And that goes for a lot of other drugs that we are buying right now. So we buy something that is like way more expensive than the one available in our country. Why? Because of the brand. Some companies have better ingredients. Let's say if you're buying a paracetamol, let's say, acetaminophen from one country and you're buying it from another country, the other country would be more expensive because they use pure paracetamol. They have a better formula. They have a better um, whatever it is ingredient. That's why they might be more expensive. But other than that, you're buying a brand. Buying the alternative is not wrong. It is the right thing actually, if it serves your purpose. So that video is not sponsored by Panadol, but I wanted to uh, mention that because of two reasons. One of them is it is one of the questions that always get their pharmacy. So if you're a pharmacist, you can get the information. And if you're a normal patient, you can get to know them without asking the pharmacist because some pharmacists are grumpy and don't want to tell you the differences. They would be like, there are a lot of them. What, which one do you want? So this way you can tell them, oh, I watched the video. I know them. I don't care if you tell me or not. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you're not already, comment down below what you want to know about next and I'll see you in the next one.